Heidi Ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. Uh, it's been quite a while since I got the tractor. Um, I just posted that video showing me getting the tractor, well, you know, kind of celebrating that I got it. But like I said at the end of that, hey, I had some problems with it. Well, I've been working on those. Uh, it, it turned out it was, you know, gas tank was gunked up and uh, claw had clogged up the outlet to the tank, so it was starving the engine for fuel. Well, I'm, well, I got the gas tank torn off, had to tear off a whole bunch of stuff uh, while I was at it just to make it easier to get to. And now I'm going to clean it up and put it back together. And then hopefully I'm going to have my tractor that I can use to take care of a lot of things that need to take care of, that need to taken care of on the property. So, hey, uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of what's, uh, what the tractor looks like now. Well, oh, there she is. I've taken the, uh, uh, there's like these two side, a side panel here uh, on each side and the hood. And also got the gas tank off. The gas tank sits right in here. And uh, so it's, it's kind of gunked up because it's, I mean, this is a, what, a 51 year old tractor. Hey, that's 17 years younger than the one I had before. And I think this one's actually been very well taken care of. The fact that the gas tank was a little bit gunked up. I mean, after 51 years, I mean, Kind of things happen or that kind of thing happens so uh you know it's got some new stuff on it, it had a, a new battery that the guy put on it and a new distributor cap and stuff so uh, but i'm going to go through i'm just going to blast the heck out of this sucker with a pressure washer and i'm going to blast the tank out with a pressure washer too inside the tank i already um put some at somebody's recommendation i put some a uh, big handful of BBs in there along with a little bit of kerosene and shook it around to kind of sort of, you know, scrape it clean from the inside a little bit. I think most of it is going to be done by the uh, pressure washer now. So. Hey, it's a little breezy, so I apologize if there's any noise. Got the gas tank back on, which was quite a chore. Um, you'll see up here, well, actually, you can see where that... That rim is now bent up because it was running into the uh, uh, running into the pipe here coming off the radiator, and I actually even underneath. Well, you can't really see it. Actually, I had to kind of you know dish in a part because it was running into the radiator, uh, the part uh, where the where you know where the hose goes from from here to there, the water neck as it's called. Um, I'm not even sure how they got it on in the first place. Uh, they obviously put it together without the radiator in place. I think you're actually supposed to take the radiator off to take it off. But I mean, that's, I hate doing stuff like that <laughs> where you have to take off 10 things to get to one thing, even though it's in a wide open tractor. Why they made it that much of a pain, I don't know. So, so I'm, you know, in the process of, you know, putting this back together. Now I've got to get this hose on under there. I got went and got a new one because the other one was, you know, distorted and it actually probably would have worked except for I'm going to have to squeeze it in there and that's going to be real fun. So I'm not going to video that because I do kind of like to keep this a family friendly channel. Well, I didn't film it, but uh, the fuel bowl gushed full when I opened it up. Now, let's see, uh, well, I've already cranked it a few times. Now let's see if it'll start. Jesus. Well, I've donned my redneck sombrero, or gringo sombrero. I should call it a personal cabana. Anyway, it's kind of misshapen too. I'm going to need to flatten it out. Anyway, uh, that's beside the point. I'm going to go on a spin for my tractor that's running now. 